In this video, we will be studying about the occupational structure on the eve of independence. See, your occupational structure refers to the distribution of worker across primary secondary and tertiary sectors of the economy how much of the population is working in the uh, primary sector how much is working in the secondary sector and how much population is working in the tertiary sector is your occupational structure of any economy so during the eve of independence what was the occupational structure of the economy let's understand the first is your agriculture or the primary sector or we call, also call it as the agricultural sector which you see on the eve of independence about 72.7 percent of the total population of the working population of India was engaged in agriculture. Percentage of population depending on agriculture is much less in advanced countries of the world. In Eng uh, England and America, it's only 2%, whereas in Japan, it's only 12%. In Germany, it is 4% of population. Whereas if we look India and the agriculture sector, it was about 72.7% at the eve of independence. The working population was engaged in the agriculture sector. So this established the backwardness of the Indian economy at the time of independence. The second comes your secondary sector. Or you also call it as your industri uh, industrial sector. Now, on the eve of independence, barely 9% of the working population of India was engaged in manufacturing industries, mining industries, etc. So, only 9% of the working population in India were engaged in the secondary sector. Whereas, if we talk about the rest of the world at that time, it was 32% USA. 42% in England and 39% in Japan were engaged in the secondary sector on the industrial activities. So again it proves that the India had a backward economy at the time of independence. Third comes the tertiary sector or the secondary sector. See, there was no tertiary sector at the time of independence. Only the Britishers came up and introduced the railways, that is the service sector, the transportation, that is again a service sector. So only you can say about 1% of the working population was in, involved in your tertiary sector. And the fourth reason was the unbalanced growth. See, more people were into the agriculture, so the major part of your per capita income was from agriculture. Then very less people were in the secondary sector and there were the least person who were involved in the tertiary Sector. So there was unbalanced growth. The income was not equal from all the three sectors. So ultimately there was an unbalanced growth in India. 
so indian economy at the time of independence showed the unbalanced growth and we can say that if we talk about the regional variations in occupational structure then your punjab haryana odisha rajasthan were more dependent on agriculture punjab haryana odisha rajasthan were more dependent on agriculture whereas maharashtra madras bengal they had started with the secondary and the tertiary sector there was a small shift from the primary sector to the secondary as well as tertiary sector as they were emerging sectors of industrialization and trade so this was the occupational structure at the time of independence so i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us